Hello everybody, welcome back to the continuation of the How to Make Malaysia Powerful series. Uh, as you saw in the last episode, we are busy building up our forces. We have a permanent war with our former democratic people. And um, we're, we're building, we're building along nicely. Yeah, see, we have our industry concentra <laughs> concentrated. Uh, which means that we can move on to some infantry equipment and um, yes yeah, so we're strolling along nicely we're in September 37 and I almost have my template finished adding on one artillery um, I will add on one more artillery and then this will be the elite infantry infantry unit Ooh. cool we have uh, well I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we have a lot of stuff happening. So um, I'm saying cool because the war has kicked off. In fun tree, should be the right way to spell it. Um, why is the war cool? The war is cool because more this is more likely that um, Japan or China will start importing from me. And what's even better is that I now have the political power to switch on war economy. Boom. So immediately we have uh, a lot more factories available to produce new factories <laughs> uh, in the center of Singapore. And all those nice new military factories will go on to produce artillery and infantry and all this artillery and infantry will be used uh, for my newly drafted units <laughs> here we go first mill producing artillery you can see the guys laboring right <laughs> it's a relatively old piece of artillery I suppose you could mm, rush the 39 artillery but I guess you have to play uh, more slow and uh, probably also play on uh, on regular rather than elite I think on elite you have you know you're so limited in your options that you really need the political power uh, to come from somewhere you either need to delay going for another focus banking your political power uh, getting your stuff done um, or you need to go for communism or uh, to get a direct boost to your political power through this part of the tree or you go for fascism um, which where the focuses give you a boost so that you don't have to spend as much political power on your laws thus saving you 300 possibly 450 uh, political power which you can then use to uh, develop other parts of your country Ooh, we're almost there so in this episode we will be building um, up our army and I think we will I will cut the uh, episode on uh, up to the point where we declare war on the Dutch East Indies I will, <laughs> I will need to mentally prepare, I will need to meditate uh, I need to be fully focused when we actually go to war um, <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the war in uh, preferably just one one very short episode nice we have enough army experience I'll pause the game attach my last piece of artillery and we can start training now this is way too much um, I will queue up six infantry at first six of the regular uh, elite infantry um, this should give me enough manpower in the bank to still uh, yeah build my destroyers because you actually need guys on the ships <laughs> no way do you yes you do um, yeah so uh, currently it's going to take 1700 days uh, for me to produce enough pieces of artillery to equip those six uh, divisions but um, this is, uh, number is going to come down 
rapidly. Indoctrination is done. Boom. Another bunch of political power. And I'm going to finish off the, 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 the communist tree and then move on to the civilian production tree. This is the moment when we can go to free trade, uh, boosting research, boosting construction, uh, all round happiness. Now this does mean that we have to import steel, but we get a chance to export um, the full 16, so two factories uh, of aluminium, and uh, we, we also get an additional um, uh, steel export, hopefully. So this, this factory should pay for itself. I am going to import steel from our good friends, the Russians. This doesn't cost me any convoys, which is helpful. We <laughs> will not be able to construct any buildings. Are you sure? Yeah. I, I um, pause the game while flipping over. from trade 4. Hmm. Support weapons done, uh, we'll move on to support weapons 2. So I think I have my infantry researches done uh, nicely in time. And now is the time we can start thinking about building our uh, uh, justification on the Dutch East Indies. Now preferably we go in as late as possible but still nicely before the start of the Second World War. Germany has not... have they? Uh, no. <coughs> they have not gone for their... Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> They've not gone for their Anschluss focus yet. Which means that if they are going around Maginot, um, this is going to take a while. So I think I may be lucky this time. I think I may be. So I will wait um, with my declaration of war, justification for war. Uh, till, um, let's say, the artillery pieces will be done in 200 days. Because then I know that I have six infantry, uh, six cool divisions uh, ready to fight as soon as the war pops. This guy needs to stop training because we are now uh, a training army um, you no longer get uh, it's, it's, the, the, the calculations already take into account all the guys in training so that means that one seventh of my army is actually in training which means I don't really get a lot of uh, don't really get a lot of army experience so you definitely need to stop training We have three destroyers. Let's see what commander we get. Regular. Would be great if we get a blockade runner. Get imp <laughs> that improves the chances of the destroyers to survive long enough. And uh, quite drastically. Yeah, the two steel I can't be bothered to uh import. The penalty is not sufficient enough to warrant a full civilian factory. So we now have free trade, war economy, and with the political commissars in place, I can go down extensive conscription, and I can start thinking about doing something else with my political power. I will need 48-ish uh, political power, well, 46, um, to start justification. So I don't think I will actually be able to do anything with the political power before we go into war, but we'll see. So now I'm going to quickly go down the uh, civilian production tree. See if we can get in some more uh, military factories to uh, build equipment. Yeah, so in 315 days, uh, the mobile defense is done. I think 
um, that's when we wanted to clear war. Uh, or anyway, pretty close to that. Uh, so in a hundred days, I'm I'm definitely gonna tick, uh, start justifying, and that means that we'll be starting the war early thirty nine. So I have to keep a close eye on Germany. Ah, oh, they're going for Anschluss. There you go. All right. Now, you don't really need to worry about world tension hitting twenty five percent because in my playthroughs I have not run into the issue that uh, the Dutch East Indies get guaranteed. They are they are mostly communists, um, and uh, well, they, they th <laughs> in theory they are they're, they're democratic, but they don't have elections. Um, <laughs> they are a a puppet of the Netherlands, and um, well, the Allies don't seem to care so much <laughs> if you attack them. Um, so anything done in under three hundred days will still benefit me. So we need to get the uh, interwar artillery. I'm actually really anxious uh, <laughs> for the. Uh, we need to start training uh, my, uh, my my army. I'm pretty anxious for the war because I can't say it was a free ride every time I tried it. <laughs> uh, so now that we have our um, uh, uh, extensive conscription going. Uh, you can see that rec the population, uh, the manpower is rolling in. Uh, I'm going to queue up around 10 or 12 of the regular infantry guys. Five civvies, cool. Ah, so, so somebody should should take all. Yeah, you know, somebody should take my steel. Somebody should take my uh, my aluminium. Probably somebody importing oil. Nah, not even. There you go, Anschluss. So world tension is starting to spike, and Germany is going for what? To align Romania. Oh well, that's pretty cool. That buys me some additional time. Align Romania is on the left. <laughs> In case you didn't know. And we are building civilian factories very quickly. Actually the infrastructure boost um, is probably more uh, beneficial to you than uh, civilian factories. So I'm going down this tree. These infrastructure boosts um, are actually pretty good. Now, <laughs> uh, between these two, I most of the time prefer to get the two civvies um, because the first infra infrastructure boost is just a no-brainer. If if the tree would byline um, at the same height as this infrastructure, I think you should always go for the infrastructure boost. Um, but when having to choose between the uh, going from 60% to 90% infrastructure or adding two civvies right away. I think two civvies right away is better. Now, my next factory is probably simply an infantry equipment and then the next one will be an artillery. Eight hundred something days. Hundred something days. Yeah. But I'll be queuing up more um, recruitment of regular infantry. So I need the um, infantry equipment to roll in. I think I should start my justification. Yep, mobile defense is done in 222 days. 220 days for the war goal. That's fine. Go. Uh, so 220 days. We're now in May 38. Uh, well, actually, it says um, it says on the tooltip when it's done, right? <laughs> I don't need to calculate this. 26th of December 38. All right, end of 38. If I do things correctly, the war should not take that long. Uh, well, anyway, getting the parts which I need shouldn't take that long. 
um, the war may linger on forever. <laughs> uh, but at least I'll have my uh, my island. <laughs> Support weapons are done. Anything and under 220 days, which I still need. Uh, the artillery is there. Land doctrine will be finished. <coughs> I think I can start going for uh, machine tools to boost my production if the war lingers on. So, when the war kicks off, I'll try to take over uh, the main islands as soon as possible. Sumatra Java, um, closely followed by Kalimantan, and then depending on how things are going, uh, whether or not the Allies have already joined the war, um, I need to fortify Singapore um, and, and, and parts of uh, uh, Kalimantan, North Borneo. Um, so, so it's 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 paramount that I don't overextend and try to get uh, everything. Um, because the longer term goal is to actually be a force um, in the world and uh, we can only be that if um, if we are still alive <laughs> it's fairly easy um, and um, I, I think I'll be joining the uh, uh, the common turn I can actually not join them yet because we are at war um, That's unfortunate. Huh? <laughs> uh, so if you were were if you would be able to get rid of the civil war, you would actually be able to enter the faction. Now you guys, you can. I'm just gonna manually attach those whenever they get produced. <coughs> so I need to keep a close eye on my production. 700 days still. When am I getting my next factory? What are you waiting for? Infantry equipment. I think I will need to remove uh, one of the elite uh, brigades. I will not be able to produce the artillery in time. So most of my uh, opening attacks will be naval invasions. So I'll make sure that I'm, I'm uh, positioning my elite guys uh, on ports. You can probably... Go to this port in North Borneo. Actually, it's probably better if I keep them here um, I'm saying that because you need convoys to keep your army supplied and uh, the more army I have over here in Kalamanta the more convoys need to be ferrying around um, supplies so um, I'm probably better off using the harbors in uh, Singapore itself now you can only use a harbor to launch a naval invasion from once um, so I need to make them count because I have I have five harbors to work with two over here on Kalimantan and three on Singapore so at maximum we could launch uh, five times two troops to locations in uh, in, uh, in Indonesia but I will explain my war, exact war strategy, uh, when we launch. 
140 days. Is that going to be done? I'm not sure. Yeah, so pretty cool. We can now see the civvies rolling in. We have um, six from trade. It's probably rubber import then. Ah, the Soviet Union is starting to import a lot of rubber. So the Soviet Union doesn't really have a lot of uh, rubber uh, to begin with, so we are actually the perfect ally for them. I hope they know this. <laughs> and I hope they will support me throughout my endeavors. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically our goal, right? Uh, our goal is to uh, expand, um, get control of all the rubber in the world <laughs> uh, situated here, and um, wait for the um, the Great War. Well, not the Great War. That's the first one. Uh, for the Second World War to kick off, join the Comintern, defend our islands, uh, and. Um, Do something cool. <laughs> yeah, so infrastructure done. As I said, I'm going to go for the two additional civvies. I could also uh, not go for a, uh, a focus at all and just retain uh, retain my political power um, to go for the artillery expert and the army offense specialist. Uh, but I think I want to develop my economy uh, as quickly as possible. Alright, September. We're almost there. How are we doing? Uh, 41 convoys. I don't think I'll be needing uh, many more convoys. I'm going to try. Next complete 6th of November. Alright, so this one will be done nicely in time. I'm not sure if you can hear the fireworks. Uh, it'll be New Year's soon, so um, fireworks are being <laughs> uh, pre, I guess, tested for the real, uh, for when the real, <laughs> real deal happens. Uh, you can go onto there. These guys are actually. So what I'll do is I'm going to recruit my commanders and hope for a good one. Ah, there's an infantry leader. Cool. He can go on to the. Uh, the defending army. I'm going to give him defensive doctrine uh, because I think that's uh, very much required for um, for these guys here. And they will receive an order. They can go onto the border here. And as soon as they are produced, they can go onto the order as well. So very good. So the regular infantry will stand uh, on this border. And the elite infantry will be in uh, all the harbors um, preparing for the war, which I will be showing in the next episode. Fingers crossed uh, that I'll be sharp. <laughs> uh, see you when we kick off the war in the next episode. Bye-bye.